So what better way to start off 2020 than to start off with building your credit if you don't have any or repairing your credit if you have bad credit? Well, I'm going to go over that in a little bit. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Michael Romero. I am a small time YouTuber, small time investor, just trying to do some big things with this channel, trying to help people uh, spread the knowledge that I've gained over the past six or seven years of studying personal finance and investing anywhere from credit to how to save more money, all of that. But today we're going to talk about credit and I'm going to go over a few things today uh, about credit. More or less, I'm going to show you um, where I started when I started and where I'm at today in a short amount of time and how I got there in that short amount of time. But I'm going to go over the main factor, one of the major uh, player in what caused my credit score to jump up so uh, big. And anyone could do it. If I learned how to do it, look, a couple years ago, uh, a couple months ago, I didn't know anything about credit, hardly anything. Now, I'm pretty much I know what to do and what not to do when it comes to credit. And I'm gonna go over the main contributor to your credit, why you have good credit or bad credit today. Whether you have no credit, whether you're building credit, or whether you're repairing your credit, uh, what I'm gonna go over with you guys today is applicable for both. Because when I started, I had bad credit, or I had bad credit and hardly any credit. So uh, I started pretty low. I started, I think, at 500, 517, something like that. Matter of fact, we're about to jump into the phone and I'm gonna show you guys on Credit Karma, my TransUnion and my uh, Equifax. And then we're gonna go on Experion and I'm gonna show you my FICO score on there. So here we are on Credit Karma and my credit went up, I think two weeks ago, it went up a little bit. So as you can see, my TransUnion is 729 and my Equifax is 715. And yes, I did open up a savings account an emergency savings account with uh, Credit Karma. I may go over that in a later video. If you want to open up a savings account with Credit Karma, it's very easy. They offer a 1.8 uh, interest rate per year. So that's pretty great. That's why I did it. Let's go over TransUnion first. So I'm going to show you next update is in two days. All right. First, let's go over the past year. So April 14th, I was at 7 I'm sorry, April 14th of last year, I was at 517. Today I'm at 729. That is over 200 points um, I gained in the past six, seven months, uh, or however long it is. I guess it's getting close to a year. But it wasn't easy, but it wasn't hard. I just had to, I just had to learn um, how to play the system. And I'm gonna go over this right now. So no hard inquiries. As you can see, the green is good, the red is bad. Now the reason I have two reds on here is because I have two accounts. The more, the better. I only have two accounts on here though. One is a loan and one is a credit card. And I'm actually paying off my credit card. I'm, oh, I'm sorry, I'm actually paying off my loan with my credit card every month and then paying the credit card off with my cash. Little tip there. It's called maximizing your credit usage. Um, next, we have age of credit. As you can see here, my oldest account is nine months. My newest account is three months. So over the span of nine months, it took me to make my credit score jump like it did. Of course, the longer the age, the better. Now let's take a look at our, and we are just shy of an excellent, and we're probably gonna get there within the next few months. Now let's jump to Equifax. As you can see, Equifax, I'm at 715. Same thing here. If we look a year ago, boom, February 17th, I'm sorry, April 21st, I was at 517, and today we're up 715. Um, as you can see, I had some big jumps here, some small jumps back and forth. And of course, we have four or five green here, and then the same two here, same reason, because I have two accounts. The more accounts you have, the better. Same thing here, it says six months, but really it's the average of the total accounts that you have. And this is TransUnion and Equifax. Um, these are the two, one of, two of the major uh, credit bureaus. The third one is uh, Experion, which is FICO. And we're gonna go over that in a little bit, but we're well, actually, let's go do that right now. 
I'm gonna show you and then I'm gonna explain exactly the major factor of why my credit is jumping the way it is and the way it did. And it's gonna continue to do over the next, really the course of my entire credit journey. Boom, Experion, my FICO score is 711. Um, hopefully I get everything before the summer or by the summer up to 750, but we, we shall see. Let's go back to Credit Karma though. There's five major credit factors that make up your history. And the biggest and most important, the most vital factor is your payment history. That makes up 35% of the total of your credit score. So if you think of your credit score as 100%, not credit score of 100, but credit score of 100%, like a, you know, a graph, a pie chart, think of the biggest chunk in that chart as 35%, which is your payment history. But as you can see here, I have 13 on-time payments for my uh, my credit, for the, the length of my credit that I have. I actually have more than that, but for some reason right now, it's only reading 13. Um, and as you can see here, you have, now after 99%, it starts going down majorly. Now, the longer your credit it is, the longer your credit is, the more payments you have and the more, um, the less, affecting it is if you miss a payment because if you have 10 payments and you miss one boom you're down to 90 you're in the red okay if you have uh 50 payments and you miss one that's a lot less affecting because you're going to move less into the red or the yellow or however it plays out i'm not really sure what the numbers is right now but as you can see here TransUnion, 13 on-time payments, Equifax, 14 on-time payments, and it just keeps moving up every month. Um, and if you wanna learn how I did a step-by-step, -step, I actually went over it step-by-step -step in uh, two, in about three videos. And if you go and go to the credit playlist, um, it's in there, all the other videos in my credit journey, I go over it step-by-step, -step. you can watch it. It's absolutely free and I guarantee you, you will come up with a strategy. You can use the exact same strategy that I use to do this and I'm gonna continue to um, go over how I do it and why I do what I do. Um, all you gotta do is stay tuned and you will be doing the exact same thing. You will be able to make your credit jump like I made mine jump. And all you gotta do is make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up with the videos that I come out with for this here credit journey we got going on. But anyway, as you can see here for my TransUnion, my biggest jump was 64 points. And as you can see here for my Equifax, my biggest jump was 88 points. Now that is love right there, that's great. But there's reasons why it does that. There's reasons why it goes up and why it comes down. Like I said, go to the credit playlist to learn all of that because I do go over it. I have about three videos in there and I'm continuing. And like I said, I will be continuing to add to it. But, so, listen guys. If you want to really build your credit, if you're serious about it, you need to make sure once you start building your credit or once you need you need to repair your credit make sure that you do not miss a payment because it will absolutely destroy your credit if you do especially if you're new it'll have a longer effect if you're new if you have an older account and the higher it is the more it'll affect it but if you have an older account the less that it'll affect it a less length of time if you have a new account, it'll affect it over a long amount of time because you have to work out of that, if that makes sense. But, so, payment history is your most important uh, factor when it comes to building credit and making sure your credit stays good. Listen, if you don't think that you can handle a credit card or whatever, there's different ways of building your credit aside from the credit card, because people do go into debt from it and that is not what you want to do. If you have to pay for a credit card, that's not what you want to do. You want to try to get a credit card free. And I, I can go over uh, later videos showing you exactly how you do it free, how you can actually get paid from it. But if you don't think you can do it with a credit card, there's different ways to do it. You can do it with loans, you can do it with, with making payments on things. Listen, make sure though, 
that you your payment history is 100% because that will absolutely destroy your credit. Listen, if you have a 750 or 800 credit score, it can literally, if you miss one payment, it can literally drop your credit almost 100 points. <laughs> and the funny thing is though, they, the late payments, are ca they're categorized differently. So you have a 30 day late payment, 60 day late payment, 90, and then a 180 day late payment. And each category is worse, obviously. If it's 90 days, that'll affect your score even more. The longer it's late, the longer, it and this is what the, the credit companies and the credit bureaus categorize it as, 30, 60, 90, and 180. Uh, there may be more than that, but this is just what I'm going off of as of right now. But if you do have a late payment, rather it be, I'd rather it be 30 than 60, 90, or 180, because that is a worse, it's, it's more of an intense, uh, negative mark on your credit but number one don't even get a negative mark on your payment history that's how you do it in the first place but if you do you can dispute it there's ways of doing it i'm not gonna go over it in this video though guys i'm actually done here remember payment history 35 percent of your credit so don't miss a payment or I will obliterate your credit score. Guys, I hope you found value out of this video. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm because it helps this channel more than you guys know. And also, like I said, I got a new mic. I got a new camera. I well, finally got a mic. And I got a awesome camera. Let me know in the comments below if my uh, production has jumped up, if you can, guys can hear me well, and if you can see me a little bit clearer. Um, also guys, like I said, if you want to keep up with these videos I got coming out for credit investing and all that, and if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button so you can join this little family we got going on. But listen guys, look, it's kind of late, so I'm going to get out of here. But first, look, if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, all you got to do is click one of these videos. All right, guys, I'm out.